All right. Audio Legends. I'm here with Isaiah. I wanted to point. I wanted to. I wanted you to meet him on the video before you meet him in person, because I think you should talk to him. He's awesome, and he's. Uh, if you need anything, he's going to be able to sort you out. He's a pretty passionate guy. Sometimes he talks. He talks a lot, actually. That's what his job is to talk to us tourists. <laughs> but you wouldn't know that this is what's here. So I'm going to get him to tell you about his uh, one of his passions. He's told me a bit about it. So uh, here we go. He gets. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? Hey, yeah. there you go. That's, uh, hi guys, uh, my name is Isaiah. Um, I'm from Med I'm not I'm not New Islander. I'm from Medang Mix uh, Central in Port Moresby. I married here. I married to Clem's daughter. That's how I am here today. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this island uh, here at Tunu. Um, you see that uh, down there we have uh, Clem's place, and up here, um, my wife and I we came up with this um, passion of creating a uh, organic garden. Okay, the purpose of it is that um, we see that um, the soil has been overused. So we learned in school about uh, crop rotation and about uh, building, you know, compost and all that. So now we are trying to do this garden. At my background, you can see the fencing. Let's go and the, check it out. Show us, yeah, us in sure. person. Okay. Um, it's all right. Don't that, worry. That, that's the garden, and um, we are we, we are what what we we are trying to do is that we're gonna use uh, the you know the scrap from the kitchen the vegetable scraps and all that to mix mix them with the leaves that we rake the lawn crappings and all that to um, come up with compost that can be used on the garden so uh, this is the peanut garden you can see this is the taro you heard of taro this is the taro and uh, this is a new plot that i'm trying to plant uh, cucumber and all that so after these peanuts you can see that the peanuts are yellow that shows that um, they lack nutrient that is why we are bringing in, in uh, fish guts. The purpose of this fencing is to keep the dogs away, okay? Because when you plant fish guts, they have a the strong smell. So it's gonna attract dogs. That is why I um, built this fence to prevent or to keep the dogs away from the garden, okay? After this, I know that the, uh, it's gonna take time, but the fish guts and all the rotten leaves will be, I mean, they're, they're gonna rot eventually into the ground and that, that's gonna give nutrient to the soil. And I'm gonna do a crop rotation after the peanut. I, I'm trying to plant um, pak soy and tomatoes, onions, gingers, um, spring onion, uh, bulb onion, even um, not bulb onion, but uh, garlic and uh, silver beet. I heard that silver beet is good for this soil. So, and um, over there we are trying to build a. Uh, Check these beans, yeah. You, you, you see these beans? Yeah. Over well, here is a place where I'm trying to, I'm planning on putting a poultry here. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I'm Check out the beans. I'm... One second. I just had to tell them oh, about yeah. the beans. These beans. We had them for dinner last night. These fellas. Here you go. Sorry. So, sorry, Isaiah. No, that's okay. You can see the beans everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's growing them. So we, you, he grows them, we eat them. Yeah. That, that, that's the purpose of it. I'm trying to grow vegetables here. So when our guests come to Clem's place, we don't have to buy um, vegetables from caving or anywhere. We, we, you're gonna eat direct, I mean, straight from the garden. You know, you can come up yourself, pick your vegetables and go and make a cook, you know, cook, cook it for yourself and have it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't okay. have to cook, they cook for you. Yeah. Don't have to cook it, they cook it. Yeah. Can you tell us about the school? Well, over there, the blue building. This is where his wife works. Uh, this is where my wife works. She started a school. It was her initiative when she came back. She you know, she has a heart to give back to the community. So, well, during her schooling days, they don't have school here. So when she returned back from the university, she said, oh, I shouldn't work for somebody else. I should stay, help my father, build a school, and I should educate my little ones in the community, my uh, niece and uh, my small ones in the community. So now she recently, uh, they, the community helped her, and with the help of the local member, they built a newly, uh, this is the newly built classroom, the elementary school classroom. This one over here, yeah. blue one. All right, um, so what we, we, we're trying to do is that um, the vision of this school, it's going to be a, an elementary school that um, we, 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 they have already installed a solar system. They used to have night class and that's really cool. <laughs> okay, well, uh, mo mo most guests, guests when they come, um, 
they used to bring uh, little you know gifts like uh, books and all that stationery to help the little ones and we really appreciate that and um, the vision is to bring in some uh, used computers from outside oh, yeah. yeah that can be installed and we're gonna bring in a wi-fi system oh yeah so that they, they can have a school online yeah, check so it out legends really it's all it's locked up at the moment building. there's the book there it is maybe you can see through the window yep i'll hold it up oh there we go Okay, you can see in there, hopefully. There you go, eh? There's a blackboard. It's been a while since I've seen a blackboard. <laughs> that, that was the first classroom. Oh, that was the first one. Look yeah. at that, that's the upgrade. Yeah. Right. Talk about an upgrade. So you're looking for computers next time they come. In, 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 2000, uh, in 2021, she started the school. So mm -hmm. 22, and this year is 2023. It's uh, been three years of operation, and they're doing really well. The kids can now confidently speak with a guest and all that, so I'm proud of what my wife's doing. She has a passion of um, teaching students, and I have a passion of doing gardening. Yeah, <laughs> so um, the plan is to, as I've said, I'm going to build a, build a poultry. That manure is going to be used in the garden. So I'll do a, what integrated farming. So we can uh, supply fresh wedges, fresh eggs, and fresh poultry products to the guest. So yeah. That's it, eh? That's it. The island is so cool, welcoming. The people are lovely. So you are most welcome. We're going to see you when you arrive here. Thank you very much. There you go, Legends. You met him. He's the man who's going to take you around. He's responsible for making sure that you have a good time. And he does a pretty good job of it, eh? And he's funny. There you go for it. And he's funny. I like that too. He likes to chat. He's up to stuff. I didn't know they needed computers. Could have probably bought one. Got a couple at home. They don't have shops around here, Legends. Shop, the closest shop you could buy something, you know, like, I don't know, like a pair of socks or something. It's two, and eight, two hours on a boat. So, there's, you know, it's not like a computer store's down the road. So uh, they uh, rely on uh, tourists to bring in some of the stuff that's just not available for them. You know, not even remotely close to, uh, you know, financially available for them. Yeah, so pretty awesome. Oh yeah, when you when you come, come and say good day to Isaiah. See you soon, legends. Bye.